So if you're only spending 10% of your time writing music, and if that 10% of your time is, sounds like 95% redoing the temp, what's actually the job of the original music composer? <laughs> so be, like, well, sort of like he said, be a tool for the filmmakers. You're asked, yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of time you're not asked to bring your own voice. You're asked, you know, here's this temp full of Hans Zimmer and Thomas Newman. Make it sound like that. And so you have to really so you're an arranger, understand. Really. Yeah, kind of. You're kind of an arranger. It's almost like you're, um, like you're assembling. It's not really original anymore. So you're you're just kind of assembling new versions of the same stuff. You're just kind of arranging and assembling. But there are people, Jack Redford's amazing at as Bruce Broughton. I mean, there's so many guys who are good at if if they're allowed to emulating the the spirit of the temp, the temp score, but really making it their own with the theme. Uh, thematic material is virtually gone these days unless you're John Williams and you know we're just not allowed to write memorable themes really anymore but but when you can weave a memorable theme in and out and multiple themes throughout a whole score and make it feel like one cohesive thing that's that to me that's much more powerful powerful because you walk away from the film with something kind of running through your head that that you feel is attached to that story and is part of it. I do but feel like with, we're moving in a better direction though with a lot of the new Star Wars movies and and things like that that is attached to more of the old school John Williams sound. So that's encouraging. So often though a score can feel so disjointed because it's tempted with so many different things and they fall in love with it and there's no cohesive through line, you know. And so you, recall. Yeah, it doesn't work to, to do that because of what, they're, what they want. It's like, well, what movie made the most money last year? And they look at whatever some big Hans Zimmer score movie was and it's like, well, let's put in music like that because that movie made a lot of money. So, so they're just copying what made the most money. Then that music music gets put in, whether it's like Batman or duh, 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 all that same ostinato stuff we hear over and over and over again. It's because, and then that movie say does well, and then they look at that. Well, what what movie made the most money? And it just keeps going, and eventually it's just this kind of inbred, homogenous. Everything sounds the same because it's not about what's the best voice for the film. It's what kind of music made the most money last year as if, in this genre. As if music had. A part, as if a, as if music was a part of that decision process for money making. Yeah, yeah, it's and that's with this big studio stuff. It's all about the money because it's a business.